my final question is, can you say something to the Asia or the China investors? Uh, the network was $200 billion in power when I joined it. It's more than $2 trillion now. It'll be $20 trillion, then it will be $200 trillion. It's going to grow for our lifetime. What if Bitcoin stops going up? And I think what they miss is that's like saying, what if water stops flowing downhill? It is like, what if gravity stops functioning? Well, it's not going to stop. If you understand the physics of the network, you understand that this is not random. These are just things you don't understand. You know, I start a fire in a jet engine and I fly across the Pacific Ocean for 15 hours by feeding kerosene into the jet engine. Well, what if the fire goes out? Well, if the fire goes out, you're going to crash and you're going to die. But the point is, it doesn't go out. Why? Because engineers engineered the machine so the fire doesn't go out. So my message to everybody is, is you can engineer a better financial system. You can engineer a machine that's fueled by Bitcoin. This stuff is not random. If you think it's random, if you think it's a speculation, then you're not paying attention. You're like the guy that thinks that fires flicker and gods create them and they might just disappear if the god of fire goes away and gets angry at you then you'll understand what's going on. There's a digital energy network. It is formed for the first time in human history. You can plug your machines into a digital energy network. That's the path to prosperity. Or you can run from it, or you can just complain about it. If you want to change the future of 10 billion people, you need to be an engineer. You can't just complain about electricity shocking you and fire burning you and, and run from you know the superstitious thunderbolts of the gods.